Michael here and today why I'm giving DirecTV Stream a second look and more importantly should you. Flashback to August 2021. I tested out DirecTV Stream after the name change from AT&T TV and I uploaded this review. The live TV service positioning itself as a premium cable TV replacement. Only a few months after I published that video News of more changes began filling up my inbox. New pricing, an upgraded cloud DVR, and tweaks to the user experience. Look at this graphic from DirecTV Stream's website. The service is taking aim at competitors, YouTube TV, Hulu Live, and Sling TV. The question is, should you switch to DirecTV Stream? Number one, plans and pricing. This is the newest and most significant change as of this recording, so let's take a closer look. I'm back on DirecTV Stream's website, and there are four plans available. They range in price from $70 to $150 a month after a January 2022 price increase. No contracts or hidden fees with these plans, but taxes may be added depending on your location. Focus on the base plan called Entertainment. This is the only plan that did not see a price increase. It remains at $69.99 per month and it includes more than 65 channels plus your local stations. I'll link to the full channel lineup below. Now 70 bucks a month is steep for cord cutters who are out to save money. And that's why I've not recommended this plan in the past. But at the time of this recording, it's around the same price as other premium live TV streaming services like YouTube TV and Hulu Live. Sling TV is still much cheaper, but you'll need an antenna to pick up your locals. The other DirecTV stream plan that I want to highlight today is the Choice plan. It's now $89.99 per month, up $5 a month after the price increase. And the draw of this plan is that it includes regional sports networks that the other services have dropped. So ask yourself this, are the regional sports networks worth an extra $20 a month? Because that's the difference you're looking at with DirecTV stream. DirecTV stream blames its latest price hike on higher programming costs. And just days before it went into effect, there was a surprise that I did not see coming, and we'll talk about that change next. Number two, unlimited cloud DVR. If you watched my previous review, you know that DirecTV Stream used to offer only 20 hours of cloud DVR storage in the base plan, and it gave you the option to pay $10 a month for unlimited cloud DVR storage, but now, Unlimited cloud DVR storage is included in all plans, no extra charge. This is a big deal because the DVR was one of the biggest drawbacks of the service. When I signed up for DirecTV Stream again in early 2022, I went to my DVR recording screen just to confirm that this was really true. And you see it right here on the screen, unlimited hours. Although DirecTV Stream's DVR includes unlimited storage, know this. Your recordings are only kept for 90 days. And if you're recording a series, a maximum of 30 episodes will be stored. Aside from those limitations, more fine print here. On DirecTV Stream's website, I noticed that it says Unlimited Cloud DVR is only available to new customers. But as a returning customer, I was able to get the Unlimited DVR, and I'm not sure what's stopping existing customers from just canceling and signing up again. Leave a comment below if you have any idea. Now you may be wondering why exactly is unlimited DVR storage such a big deal? Mainly because unlimited DVR storage has been YouTube TV's not so secret weapon and other services like Hulu Live and Sling TV make customers pay more for upgraded DVR storage and it's still not unlimited. Remember when I showed you that chart from DirecTV Stream's website with the competitors? Let me put it back up on the screen. I've got one more point to make. So here's my take. I'm not sure that many YouTube TV or Sling TV users will have compelling reasons to switch to DirecTV Stream, at least not at this point, but perhaps some Hulu Live customers may want to switch, and here's why. Hulu Live raised its starting price in December 2021. The base plan is $70 a month, just like DirecTV Stream. Hulu Live includes the Disney bundle in that price, Basic Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. But Hulu Live makes customers pay extra for an upgraded DVR and unlimited screens. Get both, your bill goes up to $85 a month. Meanwhile, DirecTV Stream includes unlimited DVR and 20 in-home streams, no upgrades necessary. So if you've got Hulu Live and you pay for those add-ons, 
you may be better off with another service, especially if you don't take full advantage of the Disney bundle. Let's move on. Number three, user experience. I've been using a Roku Ultra for my testing, so let me show you some of the settings and features that other services have left out. Not all of this is new, but some of it is. When you launch DirecTV Stream, it takes you directly to the last channel that you watched. And this is something I get asked about a lot. For my Roku, I click the down arrow and you can then see DirecTV's home screen. I want to focus on the live guide, so I'll arrow to the left and click down to expand it. In the upper left corner, you see the time, and below that, there are various filters for the live guide, including favorites. Watch as I navigate to a channel logo and press and hold OK on my remote. Now, it's added to my favorites list. I noticed a change with the descriptions from my last review. When you highlight a program from the live guide, a description will appear at the top of the screen. So as I scroll through channels, the description area doesn't move much better. Look here, you can scroll to the right to preview upcoming content, or just use the Jump Today option. Click on any live program from the guide and you're taken directly to it. Then you can arrow left and right from the live TV to channel surf. Other options, arrow up to see recent channels or click back to return to the live guide. Here's a throwback, channel numbers. I get asked about this a lot too, and it's a sorting option for this service along with alphabetical. And that brings me to DirecTV Stream's own streaming media player. I haven't tried it, but some people really like this device. It's optimized for DirecTV Stream and includes a number pad, which explains the channel number sorting option that I just showed you. $5 a month. I've covered the big changes, pricing, unlimited DVR, and user experience. But there's one thing that I wish DirecTV Stream would have changed. Unfortunately, not yet. You can sign up for DirecTV Stream online in just a few clicks, but canceling? Not so easy. When I followed the cancellation prompts from my account settings, I was directed to chat with a representative to finish up the process. The same thing happened when I tried the service the last time. Your other option is to cancel by phone. So it is not just a one-click cancellation, which would be best for consumers. Let's hope they change that in the future. DirecTV Stream is not a service for cord cutters on a budget. In fact, it has doubled in price since I first reviewed the service as DirecTV Now back in 2016. But I still think that this service makes sense for a few types of people. People who want regional sports networks, people who need unlimited DVR storage and nearly unlimited streams, and people who want a cable-like look and feel. I don't know about you, but I'm finding the price of these cable 2.0 services harder and harder to justify. Because in reality, some of the best content these days is premiering on on-demand services like Netflix, HBO Max, and the rest. But you can still cut the cord and save money compared to cable. Watch this video to learn my strategy.